Hello, people. I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Achara Kirk. Hi there. We are officially in lockdown mode. Well, two hours and 19 minutes will be, it'll be legally required that you stay inside your house, your home, unless you have to go outside. In which case, you may go outside, yeah. just don't hang out outside as, for too long. As long as you're power walking. Don't, yeah. don't run if the police show up. You, yeah. Then, Never run. You know. So it's just power, power walking. You're exercising. It's, I, I'm not, I'm like half joking, but the, like that's in the thing. It says if you're going outside and exercising, that's okay. So everybody's gonna become an Uber driver and exercise and go for, you know, what they need from this uh, the grocery it's store. It's like, no, I, I need Animal Crossing from Target right now. Yeah, exactly. I need it. So uh, we're looking at cheating stand-up comedy featuring Anubhav Singh Basi, and this has 33 million views. Yeah. And so we got, our buddy Sudeep Kumardis to help us out with the subtitles. I don't know why Char is laughing at that. I just, but, I um, think that's probably not how you pronounce his name. How do you say it then? You fancy highfalutin, you <laughs> pretentious broad. Sudeep <laughs> Kumardis? Whatever. I anyway, know. I know in India, like, they're, they're going through their situation to a degree with the, uh, Viral fever, haha. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, you know that whole thing. I, I know that like theaters are being shut down and lots of yeah. stuff is like being shifted in an effort to uh, help with the Turtle Hill thing. Yeah, I, and I, there's that's a, a that's a reference to my vlog that a lot of you didn't watch. I go worked, watch that. I, re vlog. I worked really hard on that vlog. I wish you guys would watch it. Anyway, yeah. I'm talking about uh, flattening the curve, that whole thing. Yeah. And so you know, there's efforts being taken in India, and I, you know, those of you guys who are staying in isolation, you know, I, we're making more videos so that uh, y'all y'all don't feel lonely. You know, while you're in isolation, we're, yeah. we're trying our best to put more out. Come um, out with us. So uh, if you're not subscribed to Get Jabby, that's that's a channel that we also put videos out on. That's for the American audience, but you know if you're just looking for more stuff from the Jacharas. So uh, anyway, uh, let's get into this without further ado, shall we? Yes. Thank you, Sue Deep Kumardis. <laughs> I thought, I thought cheating was in reference to like dating. Me too. <laughs> Is it dangerous? I'm going to go to the committee. I'm going to go to the group. I'm 
आधे नोएडा है गुजर आधे मेरठ मुजफ्फरनगर की जाट और दो तीन इस देश के कौन सा हुए लोग सबने कमेटी बनाई कि अब से हम करेंगे चीटिंग हाँ लेकिन हम करेंगे सामूहिक चीटिंग सामूहिक चीटिंग बता क्या मैं बता दू चीटिंग का सोर्स एक होगा पांच सारे हमने क्या करा हमने क्वेश्चन पेपर देखा आपने मैंने कहा इसमें ना ट्रू फॉल्स आते हैं बीस नंबर के मैंने कहा ये टीप है बस पास हो जाएंगे हमने प्लान बनाया एक लड़के को टास्क दिया हमने कहा काम करियो आगे वाली कॉपी में से ट्रू फॉल्स देख लियो और बाथरूम के गेट के पीछे लिखाई हो हम सारे एक एक करके जाएंगे ट्रू फॉल्स देख के आ जाएंगे सिंपल पहला दिन ट्रू फॉल्स लिख के आया खुद ही मायूस खड़ा हुआ हमने क्या हुआ क्या वहां डेढ़ हजार ट्रू फॉल्स लिखे हैं पहले से हमारा यूनिक नहीं था काम कर हमारे वाले ट्रू फॉल्स पर एक बॉक्स बना गया हाँ एक बॉक्स बना गया हमें पता चल जाएगा हमारा लिख के आया आधे लोग ने अब भी फेल हो गए क्योंकि जो लिख के आया ना इसकी हाइट है छह फुट चार इंच ये महाशय यहां लिख के आ गया ट्रू फॉल्स छोटे छोटे जा रहे नीचे के चार देख पा रहे बस ऊपर के छह तुक्के मार रहे हैं एक तो कमोट पर चढ़ के देख रहा था उसमें गिर गया आगे रिमोल कर देगा हम निकलेंगे ना हम चेंज करो तुम्हें जब तक हमको चेंज करते हैं नेक्स्ट डे हमारे टीचर पे पता चल गया उसने एग्जाम में लिख दिया इफ ट्रू वाई बिकॉज इट नॉट फॉल्स क्या क्या रॉन्ग आंसर से टॉप बना दिया उसने तब उसके बाद में ज्यादा क्रिएटिव बनने की जरूरत नहीं पहला वाला दो हाँ हमें डिग्री चाहिए वापस आओ हमने वो पुराना वाला लिया अब प्लान किया कि कोई दरवाजे पे लिखा है यार थोड़ा स्मार्ट हमने डिसाइड किया कागज पे लिखेंगे और एक कागज वॉशरूम में लड़का छिपा के आ जाएगा फिर एक घंटे बाद जब टीचर को नहीं पता चलेगा तब एक लड़का जाएगा कागज लेके आएगा सबको पास कर देगा सिंपल अब जो कागज लेके लेने गया था ना उसे दुनिया की सेफेस्ट जगह मिली पेन की कैप उसने पेन की कैप में फर्रा देके पेन बंद कर दिया पेन जो फर्रा बस गया ये अपनी सीट पर बैठ के टक 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 कर रहा है फर्रा ही बाहर नहीं आ रहा हम इसे कह रहे फर्रा पास कर तो पेन की कैप दे रहा क्लास में पेन की कैप घूम रही है थोड़ी देर में टीचर को कैप मिल गया वो कैप का पेन ढूंढ रहा है और जिसका पेन था ना इसने पेन फेंक दिया ये चूतिया बिना पेन के बैठा है खाली हाथ टीचर आए करे तेरा ही पहने करे मैं तो पहन लाया नहीं ये नाम कैसे लिखा ये आगे वाले से मांगा था आगे वाले ने पेन मुझसे मांगा कह रहा तो आप ही का पहने पहचान नहीं पा रहे हो टीचर कह रहा बेटा चीटिंग लगी तो उस पर तो गया आज कह रहा ऐसा लगती चीटिंग इतना कानून मैं भी जानता हूं <laughs> कानून का ही पेपर है जानता है तो लिखते तेरा लिखता तो पर पेन नहीं है ना हर ये बच्चा नहीं चलेगा इसके एक तरफ <laughs> इसका एक दोस्त बैठा वहां उसे ये भी नहीं पता वो क्या रहा है वहां से हाथ उठा कह रहा सर मेरी क्या है कह रहा यहां कैसे आ गई है कह रहा मैंने फेंक दी तू कह रहा हमने तो नहीं देखा कह रहा तो पकड़े जाने के पर्पज से फेंकी भी नहीं थी टीचर घूम के गैस की सीट पर जाके इसका पेन उठाया कैप उठाई कह रहा उसकी कैप ही नहीं तो उसमें टाइट है कह रहा तभी तो फर्रा फंस गया टीचर ने कैप लिया वो अपनी सीट पर जाके टक 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 कर रहा फर्रा अभी नहीं निकला टीचर ने कैप तोड़ी फर्रा निकाला उस पर लिखा चार ट्रू है छह फॉल्स किसी को कुछ नहीं होगा बस है कौन है कर लो चीटिंग आज तो नहीं मजा बना लेकिन एग्जीक्यूशन नहीं था ना हमारे पास प्लानिंग थी एक लड़के ने हमारा समूह ही तोड़ दिया हाँ इसे हम पर विश्वास नहीं था इसने कहा मैं अपने आप कर लूंगा हमने कहा ठीक अब नेक्स्ट डे हमें सर विषय देखना है जब तक हॉस्टल से एग्जामिनेशन सेंटर पहुंचा ना 
वो छप गया चप्पल पे उल्टा अभी एग्जाम में बैठकर भी चप्पल घुमा रहा टीचर आ गया क्या ये करा डिजाइन है तेरा एक चप्पल पे करा हाँ सस्ती ली थी तुझसे मतलब टीचर ने उठाया देखा कि हम इससे करके दिखा चुके कर कर ये पहन के बाथरूम चला गया टीचर पीछे जाए तो शीशे का के चप्पल ले खड़ा हुआ है नेक्स्ट डे अपने आ गया क्या वापस आ गया अपने आ गया कर बाइक वापस ले लो लेकिन उन्हें उसी टाइम हमारी क्लास में लगा अब्दुल अब्दुल ओबीसी क्लास में लास्ट था इसे कोई उम्मीद नहीं दुनिया से ये जी चुका था जिंदगी इसका हो गया था ये आया कह रहा कि यार देखो ऐसा है मैं तो ना पढ़ पाता हूँ ना चीटिंग कर पाता हूँ तो मैं ना क्लास को डिस्टर्ब कर दूंगा क्यों कह रहा देखो जब मैं डिस्टर्ब करूंगा तो टीचर मेरे पास आ जाएगा तुम सब पीछे से चीटिंग कर लेना हम सब में एक सेक्रीफाइस भी कर रहा है मैंने कहा ठीक है एग्जाम शुरू हुआ पहले सीट पे बैठा टीचर की तरफ देख के अपना हाथ देख के लिख रहा है हाथ पे लिखा नहीं इसके कुछ ये बस बच्चों कर रहा है जैसी टीचर इसकी तरफ देखा हाथ बंद कर लिया टीचर इसकी तरफ आया हाथ पीछे कर लिया और इस टाइम पर हमें चीटिंग करने हम अब्दुल को देख रहे हैं टीचर की तशरी फट गई पाग लग रहा घूम रहे क्या हुआ नहीं है हमसे आएगा इसके हाथ में कुछ लिखा था मेरे को पता नहीं हमने तो ये भी सुना है काला जादू आता है टीचर ने उसे पास कर दिया हमें मिल कर दिया आंसर लेकिन हम इंप्रेस हो गए हमने कहा इतना जीनियस लड़का हमारे बीच करेगा हमने कमेटी का प्रेसिडेंट बनाया उसको हॉस्टल तक लेके आया कमरे में बैठा के बाहुबली बोल के अगले दिन ये चढ़ भी गया प्रेसिडेंट बन गया कह रहा नेक्स्ट प्लान बहुत सही है क्या कह रहा ऐसा प्लान है पेपर कैंसिल हो जाए कहा कर दे यार प्लीज क्या प्लान है कह रहा देखो दस से एक का पेपर है बारह बज के पांच मिनट पे मैं खांसूंगा तुम सब अपनी टेबल हिलाने लगना ये ग्रेजुएशन हो रहा है हमने कहा उससे क्या होगा कह रहा टीचर को लगा भूकंप है वो कहेगा भाव तो अपनी आंसर शीट लेकर भाग जाएंगे पेपर कैंसिल नहीं कहा भैया फॉकिंग जीनियस अगले दिन एग्जाम में बारह बजे तक किसी ने कुछ नहीं लिखा कैंसिल होने वाला था बारह बज के पांच मिनट पे खांसा हम सब अपनी टेबल हिला रहे टीचर ने बाहर जाने को बोले नहीं और इसने हमें ये नहीं बताया रुकना कब है अब अगर अलग अलग टाइम पर रुके तो भूकंप खराब हो जाएगा ये सिग्नल लेके खांस रहे हम और तेज ला रहे टीचर ने आगे वाली रोको घूरा रुक गए पीछे वाले अभी भी ला रहे टीचर घूरता चला गया सब रुकते चले गए तो लास्ट सीट पे बैठा था खड़ा हुआ कह रहा भूकंप आया था ऐसा करके निकल गया टीचर कह रहा इधर आइयो चमन छू दिए अगली बार भूकंप आया ना तो सब बता दियो कि टीचर्स टेबल भी लानी होती है Oh my God! I, I just got second grade flashbacks. Why? What happened? Because I was very, I was, I think I had ADD or ADHD as a kid. Because mm -hmm. when I was a, when I was in second grade, my teacher, uh, Miss Andrews, would, she would write this thing. It was for English class. She would write this thing on the board with these blanks, and we were supposed to go through the book and find the answers to fill in the blanks. Right. The thing about it is, she would often write the answers. As a means to conclude the lesson, so it's like then you could just write the answers if you just wait for it. 
Right. Okay. And then yeah. this one day she did that, and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna wait this out and get the answers because I can't be bothered to look through this book. And I'm just like messing around. I don't know what I was doing if I was looking at my hands or just messing around, whatever kids do. And then she's like, all right, cool. And she erased the board, and I was like, wait, I didn't write anything down. Uh, and I haven't even looked for like my. Aunt. I was a total fail. Like, <laughs> it was exactly like the way he described it at the end. Like, I didn't do any work at all, and I was like scrambling at the last second to like make it work. So I, you know, but I, it was bad. It yeah. was. It, it was. It was, it was like trying to have a car running, running in water. I don't know. I was trying to come up with some stupid analogy. <laughs> there were a lot of jokes in there that were definitely like culturally gated to us, or like I very don't think I don't think I don't think it's the jokes themselves that were culturally gated. I think it was the way he was doing it. There was a certain nuance in the cadence or the, the particular phrases he was using that is like more. Well, yeah, you know. and there, there was also like he's referencing places. Like the only one that I really knew was Noida, but like I don't know what the stereotype is sure, about that people yeah. from those specific areas. And so he's saying these things, and I'm like, ah, oh, but I don't, I don't know like what that means. But everybody else in the audience is having a laugh. You get what you can get from it. Yeah, no, I mean, but I had, a, I had a laugh. No, no, it was it was funny for sure. He's just a really good storyteller. It's like you're hanging out with your friend, and he's like, oh my. God. <laughs> so you'll never believe what happened to me and he just starts telling the story and it's really hyperbolic but I think like I don't know it's a hundred percent believable though I mean it's a little hyperbolic but I think what makes it why it has 33 million views is because people pass it around because it's so relatable it just the antics you get up to in school yeah like th the way three idiots may have demonstrated in that film I watched uh, I can't remember the name of it right now. Yeah. But Shraddha Kapoor was in it. Yes, um, with Sushant Singh. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that one. I, I forgot the name of that film. The one with the funky makeup. Yeah. <laughs> so, it was, that film also illustrated like the antics you get up to when you're in school, and I think that's just what he's remarking on, and people just relate to it. That's why. That's part of why it's so funny. It's just the relatability factor. There's also the elements of like trying to just figure out ways to get ahead, and the cheating just blowing up in your face, which has happened to me more times than I'd care to admit. Really? Yeah, where I just like, it just didn't work. And one of which, I, I, I'm sure I mentioned on the channel, one of the instances where I tried to cheat, I got caught and it was the most horrifying experience. And to this day, sometimes I just get like, short breath <laughs> over it. I'm like, what the? And like, the teacher doesn't care anymore. The students who were around me at the time that saw me get caught don't care anymore. Like, yeah. no one cares. But the trauma is still there many, over a decade later. Like, it's still there where I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe. You know. Wow. I think I was just such a nerd. Like, I, oh, I never well. really cheated. I, I cheated once in elementary school because I didn't know one answer. And I looked over at my friend Blair's uh, sheet and then I just copied and I felt so bad. I was like, I'm never copying. Again. There are many presidents <laughs> and country leaders that have done far worse than done a little copy copy. <laughs> Yeah, so just one answer. You're fine. Right, yeah. One answer, and you feel bad about that. I felt oh my so Lord. bad. Jesus Christ. But I mean, the antics that they got up to were just crazy pants. I just think that if you took the time that you were planning these antics to actually study, you'd probably pass. Not everybody's made for studying, and I think that's what a lot of people just fail to realize. It's like we're not all conditioned or like naturally like built that way. Yeah. You know, some of us are more adept at studying than others naturally. Like, and it's like you can train it, but you can only train it so much. Like there are people who can read a book once and like really have all that information still there. Mm -hmm. Whereas like I kind of need to read, I'll go back and read pages a couple times as I go through a novel, but like I'll, then I'll hold on to it. Yeah. Whereas there's other people who can look at it once and they just got it. Yeah, I, you, was, I was pretty good at taking well, tests. Well, no, but you, you'll read a book yeah. fast. And you, yeah. You're really good at that, yeah. at, at holding that information as you go, but then it's gone. It's gone, yeah. So, like, I'm pretty good at holding on to stuff, but I have to, like, go over it a couple times. It's just, it's just everyone's got, it, th that's the thing. And so when you're, when you're caught in a situation like that, where everyone is being kind of herded into this particular way of growing in society, you know, school, not everyone can easily conform to that, to that standard. I have no issues with people trying to figure out ways to get by unless you are tr going out to be a doctor. Something where people's lives depend on you, that's a little different. But like, I mean, he's being a lawyer though. I know it's not like a doctor. It's not like he's the, about to perform but, surgery or anything the, the like thing, that. But. The thing with law is that you get to keep studying. You have to, like each year you have to keep up 
on the, like the latest in law and whatnot. And same with doctors. Same with doctors, but like you, no one's you're not doing heart surgery in in, yeah. in the court, so it's a little different. You're but, just trying not to get someone in jail. Well, your reputation will speak for itself. Right. Like if you cheat and then you get into the real world and you suck, no one's gonna hire you to be their lawyer. <laughs> It's just, you know. The, 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 That's why he's doing stand-up it's, it's, comedy. It's, it's all gonna come out in the wash, as they say. You know, the proof is in the pudding. That was interesting, though. Like the the joke that he started out with. I guess he had a reserved spot because of his cast or whatever. Oh, I and see. and um, he's like, I scored less than everyone else, and then they got in, which is fine. And then once you get in, you have to do the same amount of work as everyone else, and then you're really struggling because, you know. Oh, you're I like, see. Oh. I just got in here. He started out talking, well, the the intro, the false start rather, is, yeah. or, is, was about him getting weed and how that like distracted him for six months. I used to do weed and I don't really anymore. Like every now and then I'll have an edible or something to, but it's not even weed. It's like weed. CBD, which yeah. is not the same at all. Uh, but like, I remember when I first got into it, I was like really into it and I was having a lot of fun and then I had a bad experience and that changed everything. Like, Done. Like literally like it was the same kind of time period like I got to do it for six months and I enjoyed it And then after that I just it's just not the same There's always that concern that I'm jumping off a bridge every time I take like weed of some kind I'm like yeah, it's not worth it But I mean I can totally relate like it it's fun. It's a fun distraction I feel like a lot of people do that in college though um, because a lot of my friends did and I don't know if it's just me I I I guess I just used to hang out with the stoners in college because they were a lot of fun, but I never smoked myself. But I just liked hanging out with them because when they were high, we were on the same level. So I was, you know... That, that, you're speaking I don't very need... highly of yourself, Achara. No, because I, I like to have a good time and like I don't normally like think the same way that normal people think sometimes. So they're say high. Loud, say it loud and proud. Yeah! So like, yeah, they're high and I'm just like, yay, we're on the same level, now we're having fun. I think one of the biggest takeaways here though, one of the biggest lessons is that you really gotta be dependent on yourself at the end of the day. Like, you trying to depend on someone else, oh, yeah. is, is like, you know, in that particular manner is always gonna get you in hot water. Always, like at some point it will land you in trouble when you're depending on someone else to supply you with information, with answers, because something will go wrong. And sh like always, anytime you're doing something where you're not taking responsibility for what you're supposed to be doing, you're, you're taking a chance. I just feel like there have been so many instances where you do that and then it just goes horrific. There's a Simpsons episode that, that you know, perfectly illustrates this problem. Where Homer Simpson, did I tell, I've talked about this before, right? Where oh, Homer, the, the, the bird? Yeah, with the bird thing, because he, he, he deliberately gets super fat so he can be on disability, and all he has to do is keep hitting yes on his keyboard while he's working from home, and then he puts this little bird thing that, that has got some kind of weird gravity thing in it to make it keep doing that over and over again, mm -hmm. and then it falls. And it doesn't work anymore, and then they're like, there's a power failure, there's a, there's a failure at the power plant, he's gotta go and jump inside of it to keep it from exploding. <laughs> it's really stupid, but... Yeah. There's a lesson there. Yes, little... be responsible for yourself, study kids. Although, right now, probably all exams are cancelled, so... You've got more time? No, I'm pretty maybe? sure they'll do stuff from home as well. I'm sure there's gonna be study. You can still be studying from home, and that's what I would, if you guys are like at home and you've got that time, I would I would recommend catching up on your studies and like, so you can be ahead of the game when you get back into class. Yeah. That's my recommendation. I mean, obviously it's nice to take a break and relax and like have that kind of clarity, mm -hmm. but I would say it's best to keep yourself occupied when you've got that free time. The, yeah. Just trust me, you're gonna, it, the, that's the best thing you can do is, you know, in between watching YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> Keep yourself occupied. So, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Check out Achara Kirk on the social media. Thank you, Anubhav Singh Basi, for allowing us to react to this. And um, Sudeep Kamardis, you're wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for making subtitles. I know that must have been a challenge because it was a longer video. Yes. Really appreciate you. So, uh, thanks so much for hanging out, y'all. I'm Jabby Kuei. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.